Libra, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for November 23rd through the 29th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll um, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, Felix is here. I don't know if he, yeah, he's going to want to do something stupid, maybe. No, there he is. I heard him wanting to come. What'd you do? Where'd you put your tail in? Libra. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the hermit, going within, doing that healing, doing that work on yourself. Good. Uh, in the recent past, you get the Ten of Wands, the Star, the Hangman. All right. Um, there is this difficulty in getting what it is that you wanted, and I feel like because of that, because things seemed pretty difficult here, it might have placed you into this hangman position, like, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to sit here, try to look at the situation from every angle possible, but not really act upon it. Uh, whatever that was. In the current situation, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords. All right. A partnership of some sort that it almost feels like this situation makes you feel good, makes you feel um it just gives you something positive, this partnership, this collaboration, whatever this is. But for some reason I feel like there's um also a tendency to give it up. Not give it up, but just drop it for now. So this could be a friendship, this could be something else. But however good it makes you feel, you might feel the need to walk away from it for some reason. In the immediate future, you get the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. All right, lots of healing. Lots of healing in loss. There's an energy of losing something or someone, and there's a lot of healing that comes with it. Um... Kind of like working with the universe rather than anything else. Like whatever you put out there, you're getting back. And you're starting to understand that. And that's through a lot of healing and through experiencing this loss. So let's, um, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the hermit. The Nine of Wands, the Justice card, the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Yeah. Um, you're kind of wanting or trying to break through some barriers, some walls that you are putting up for yourself here. Um, there is that sense of you trying to go within to figure out things uh for yourself or feelings even um and just trying to grow as a person and there's a little bit of blockage there that you're kind of setting up for yourself and we all have that we all have that we you know when it's time to look at ourselves nobody does it like yeah i can't wait no because you know there's going to be things that you like, things that you don't like, and how we have the tendency as humans to hang on to the things that we don't like. Who the hell wants to look at themselves and be like, oh my god, what is this? You know, kind of thing. So yeah, that resistance is normal. It's always going to be there unless we, you know, recognize it and put it aside. Because sometimes we do have to look at ourselves with the good, the bad, and the ugly. So uh let's see here let me see the uh the star in the recent past the four of wands the moon the temperance okay so this whatever it is that you wanted comes in in the form of a commitment possibly a marriage with someone um i feel like you kept this to yourself for the most part um your desire to take things into this four of wands 
uh, commitment energy, right, with somebody. You kind of held it to yourself here, but uh, it did help you grow. It did help you transform. It did help you in many, many ways. Um, this, what almost feels like at some point it turned into possibly an obsession, you know. Um, but again, it's shown up like it helped you grow. It helped you learn things. So let me clarify the hangman. The Eight of Swords, the King of Swords, the Empress. There you are. Yeah, being really, really confused about um, about whether or not you should take action. Um, the desire is there, the determination is there to do things, to make things happen. Um, the self-empowerment is there even. But what's also there and what stood in your way were your thoughts, your stories that you created about this whole situation instead of going with what you felt you went with what you thought and that placed you into a stagnant mode here let me see this three of pentacles here in the current situation is that wind that's wind wow we got some winds up in here okay um for the Three of Pentacles, you get the Sun, the Eight of Cups, the Death card. Definitely, I don't know what this is. It could be something new, someone new coming into your life. This situation makes you happy. Um, could be that of romance or just a friendship, just someone there to help you out through things. Or You know how someone shows up in your life and it just feels good. You don't have to put any kind of label on it. You don't have to be like, oh my god, I want to be with this person or whatever, you know, kind of thing. There's that situation here showing up for you. And this one, you don't want to walk away from it. You want to experience it as it comes. Like, okay, let's not label this. Let's just feel our way through it. Again, it does look like a friendship more than anything, but it could be more. Let me clarify the Six of Wands. Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, The Hangman. Okay, so this situation is making you feel good because it's helping you come out of this stagnant mode uh, where you placed yourself based on this situation from the past. You know, you kind of didn't want to take action towards that nor towards anything new or anything other than. Whatever it is that you're experiencing right now with this person is helping you Get yourself out of stagnation. Somebody may have showed up in your life to help you out. The universe always sends us help somehow. So, let me clarify the Six of Swords in the current situation. Seven of Cups, King of Cups, Page of Swords. Yeah, at this point, it doesn't look like you're interested in, not in love, I feel like you're open to love, but you're not interested in looking for that particular person. Like, you know how um, a lot of the times we take some time for ourselves, and I feel like you have done that with the hangman showing up twice. Um, and then we wake up one day and it's like, we, I, I, I want somebody to love and I want somebody to be with and I want this, that and the other. I don't feel you're at that point where you're out there searching for it. If it comes, okay. You you kind of, you're browsing. Let's just put it that way. But you're not throwing yourself in the uh, dating world or whatever. You know, it doesn't show up like that, at least. If you are, not really your desire to do so. Let me clarify the Four of Swords. In the immediate future. Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. All right, so whatever it is you're not interested in currently when it comes to love, it's coming your way. The more you heal, the more you'll attract this thing which you're not going to look for. It's going to come find you. 
interesting. Uh, let me clarify the Six of Pentacles in the um, immediate future. <clears throat> Nine of Swords, Three of Cups, Two of Swords. All right. See, this energy of reconciliation is coming back at stake here. Wanting to possibly not reconcile necessarily, but wanting to leave a clean slate in a past situation. Like, okay, if it's not going to work out with you and me being together forever kind of thing, let's just make things straight here. Let's just clear things out between the two of us. You know, there's that need of clearing out the energy um, between you and a person from your past. Let me clarify the Ten of Swords in the immediate future. Two of Wands, the Magician, the Seven of Wands. Um, this energy of things being done, accepting that things are done in any kind of situation, this energy is still lingering. It's still going to come back at you to try to address it. You are manifesting your way out of not dealing with this energy. It keeps on coming back for you. Like something's happening where you lose something or someone. And you're supposed to go look into that and feel your way through it instead of trying to avoid it. The energy is going to keep on coming back to you. I see you being like, but yeah, but I don't want it. You know, okay, but I don't want it. Um, okay, you can avoid it once more. It's going to keep coming back until you address it. Loss. What does loss represent to you? What is this wound within you of loss? Who did you lose? Who abandoned you? Who did you abandon? I don't know. It's coming from possibly your childhood here. There's a wound here that you keep trying to avoid. And as I said, it's going to keep on coming back until you do address it. Uh, let's see what the universe has. Knight of Wands, High Priestess, the Sun. All right. Yeah, going with what you feel. Going with what you feel makes you happy currently. I feel like your intuition is right on point there. You're following it. Whenever you're following it, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy and it leads you to happiness. You feel that the path is towards happiness whenever you're in tune with your intuition. So stay there uh, with that. Stick with that. Uh, don't try to avoid things because they're going to keep coming back. You know, so try to address them when they do. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.